Six dollar fast food nachos! Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. Today we have the new Triple XL Steak Nachos. Those are some XXL nachos. Good luck eating that while you're driving. They looked a lot better in the picture. So this is uh, supposed to weigh more than a pound when it's all said and done. I believe it. It looks like we got a lot of chips, quite a bit of steak, nacho cheese, a little bit of nacho cheese, beans, sour cream, a tiny bit of pico, barely any pico. I see like three little tomato chunks and green oatmeal. One glob of green oatmeal. It's going to take us a few bites to get the full spectrum of these nachos. Yeah, nacho sandwich. That was pretty dang good, but I can guarantee that was rare that I'm going to get everything on one. It looks like there's really a, a lack of nacho cheese on these. Yeah, could just be our Taco Bell, but they typically don't treat us wrong. This is six bucks. That's crazy. I am at a point in my life right now where I am too sober to pay six bucks for this. Six bucks, we're approaching like taqueria prices where you can get like something so much better than this. It's a reasonable amount of food. That bite tasted fishy. Like. With nachos that are assembled incorrectly, uh -huh. by the time you're done with this, you're going to be left with a plate full of chips. I think that is the worst pico de gallo I've ever had. <laughs> Pretty underwhelming, just overall in general. This is how much is left. I don't want any more. Or spend six bucks at Taco Bell and get a whole bunch of other better stuff. Yes. So if you like fast food nachos, spending way too much money for them, getting lame ingredients that don't taste very good, and overall blandness that doesn't excite you in any way, that's for you. Check it out. On a scale of 1 to 37? 7 out of 37. 7 out of 37. Waiter.